There are three kinds of welding apparatuses used to perform arc welding with covered electrodes. These are rectified transformers, AC transformers and inverters. AC transformers are the cheapest devices of the kind. Structurally they consist of a power transformer and a choke. The welding current is regulated rather smoothly based on the principle applied in laboratory auto transformers. Transformer welding equipment weighs quite a lot, primarily due to the weight of the transformer itself. Besides, they are inferior to other welding devices in a number of parameters like current efficiency and welding quality. Rectification devices operate off of direct current and can be used with carbon and stainless steels. These devices also contain a transformer, a choke and powerful diode or thyristor DC rectifiers. The only drawback here is that part of the power is lost. The key advantage is that the arc is more stable than in AC transformers. Besides, this welding apparatus can be used in operations involving both ferrous and non-ferrous metals. The structure of DC devices that have several stations can be efficient even when several welders work together. An inverter is a representative of the new generation of welding equipment. There exist three kinds of inverters. DC inverters for manual metal arc MMA welding. DC or AC and DC inverters for MMA and gas tungsten arc TIG welding. Inverters with microprocessor based control. In its essence, a welding inverter is a device that converts direct current into alternating current by changing voltage. In operation, a welding inverter uses high frequency current of tens of kilohertz. The increased frequency of the current flowing through the power transformer helps minimize the dimensions and mass of the devices. The value describing the ratio of the welding current to the mass is now close to 4, 5 amperes by kilo. Inverters can be used even when power surges occur in industrial electric generators as well as when using long cables. Inverters operate perfectly well in a wide range of current and at high load. Many structures contain a digital control block used to control the generated current parameters, manage the welding processes and monitor the efficiency of the weld. Inverters can be differentiated based on the number of supported phases and functions. Due to the stability of electric current, welding inverters can be hugely convenient in any operation environment where they work.